drawn by India's legacy as the mother of democracy, what we are trying to do is democratize the decision-making process. So while in almost all the Y20s, the representatives go and talk about their perspectives, what Indian representatives and Indian Y20 would be doing would be democratizing it and taking it to across the length and breadth of the country. When you talk about something as unique as Y20 Chopal, where we'd be interacting with the rural youth, can you imagine that, that we plan to host over 2,000 Y20 Chopals across the country? The scale of it. And this is something which is bigger than any Y20 has ever had. Beyond that, what we plan to do is take it to both the rural areas and also the urban areas. And how would we do that? Through Y20 talks, Y20 study circles. We plan to bring forth the perspectives of all the youth members and all the premier institutions. So at one end, while we are talking about the premier institutions, at the other end, we are covering the unorganized and the rural segment so that the voices that come forth are democratized. And now second, when we talk about the perspective or the broader segment in which India would be talking, that is to democratize not just within the country, but democratize the sphere of global